When we hear from women who suffer with prolapse on the Kegel 8 helpline, initially they feel quite devastated and confused. It really does affect every aspect of their life, as well as it being uncomfortable and stopping them from getting on with their lives, it's quite catastrophic for them. Prolapse carries a lot of shame, and for many it's a big secret that women do not share. We literally prolapse in ignorance of how our bodies work because nobody told us. A prolapse is a bulge or a lump in the vagina caused by sagging of the vaginal walls and or uterus and womb. This sagging happens because the natural supporting tissues which hold the vaginal walls and uterus in place have become weak or damaged. So what are the signs of prolapse? Well, you might feel a bulging pressure or a heavy sensation in your vagina. This will probably feel worse as the day goes on, as the prolapse literally drops down further. Many women describe it as feeling like a dropped uterus or a sensation like their uterus is falling out. You might feel as though you're sitting on a ball. You might experience bladder problems or sister seal symptoms, which mean you could have difficulty starting to wee. You may have a spraying stream or developing continence and bladder leaks. You might have an increased urgency to urinate and feel that your bladder is not fully emptying. Your bladder may become lax and irritable. You may leak urine during intercourse. You might have difficulty keeping a tampon in place. You might have bowel problems. You might struggle to have a bowel movement. Uh, it might mean that you have to use vaginal splinting the technique of inserting your fingers vaginally to support the perineum to have a proper bowel movement, or you might suffer from faecal leakage. If these signs and symptoms sound familiar, I do urge you to visit your GP for a full pelvic examination to find out if it is a prolapse and what kind of a prolapse you might have, and then you can consider your treatment options. I can tell you what we know that is a cause of prolapse, smoking, constipation, high impact exercise, aging, menopause, weight gain, hysterectomy, excessive lifting, and sometimes natural childbirth. But more importantly, what do you need to do right now? I've been in sexual and pelvic health for over 27 years. And what I want to tell you is that prolapse can be managed and you're key to making this happen. Don't let prolapse own you. I want you to become more pelvic floor aware, or rather, I need you to become more pelvic floor aware. I want you to know that prolapse can be managed and you'll be stronger for it. Current NHS treatment and private healthcare treatment options give you four choices. One is do nothing. No, it won't go away. I don't like this option because it, you can deteriorate and the symptoms worsen over time and more organs could prolapse. Being proactive by managing the prolapse will not only strengthen your pelvic floor, it will also strengthen your resolve too and hopefully rid you of those embarrassing symptoms. Treatment option two, physiotherapy and pelvic floor exercises. Ask your GP to refer you to a woman's health physiotherapist. Be warned, some have long waiting lists, but time is of the essence. The quicker you start, the quicker you can stop the deterioration before it becomes irreversible without major surgery. If you've tried pelvic floor exercises before and you think they don't work, then you really do need Kegel 8. To manage the prolapse, and to stop it getting worse, strengthening the pelvic floor muscles is vital. Your pelvic floor needs to support all of your pelvic organs. Kegel 8 is not a magic wand for prolapse. There is no such thing, but you can reduce the symptoms you have. You can restore bladder and bowel control and improve intimate sensation. Treatment option three is pessary use. A pessary is a support for the prolapse. 
They're really useful in helping you manage and support the prolapse, especially as your pelvic floor gets stronger through exercise. If the pessary falls out, Kegel 8 can help you again. You need to strengthen those muscles to keep the pessary in. Don't give in, a pessary offers great support. Fourth option, finally, surgery. Sometimes using transvaginal tape, TVT or mesh. There is little evidence of the effectiveness of using mesh and complications include mesh erosion, infection and bleeding. Surgery is not a magic wand and this is major surgery with a recovery time of six to eight weeks. Moreover, one in five prolapse surgeries are unsuccessful and will require further surgery. If you have a uterine prolapse and a hysterectomy is recommended, this leaves you with a one in three chance of prolapse following your hysterectomy. If surgery is your only option, I strongly urge you to strengthen your pelvic floor before and after surgery. Exercising with the Kegelate will help improve surgical outcomes and could prevent further prolapse. Whatever choice you make, if you have a prolapse, you need to strengthen your existing muscles to manage the prolapse. Stop the prolapse dropping down even further or even out of the vagina and to prevent other organs from prolapsing. With or without surgery, you need to get strong. One wise clinician said to me, if you do not change what you have always done, you will get the same again. She was referring to prolapse. So if you opt for surgery, and if you do not make any lifestyle changes, you will suffer the same prolapse again, or another prolapse, because there is no surgery to strengthen a weak pelvic floor. I wish that more women were told this, but it's vital that you know it. If you do not change what you have always done, you will get the same again. We've had great success with Kegel 8, as you'll see from our reviews, from women just like you, who've initially been paralyzed with fear and self-loathing at discovering a prolapse. Women who refuse to give in to prolapse strengthen their pelvic floor with Kegel 8, and in some cases, even reverse the prolapse. We've put the review link below. Kegel 8 is literally sat nav for the pelvic floor. It locates weak muscles, it sends targeted signals to work and strengthen the muscles. Pelvic floor muscles that are weak and lacking sensation have poor circulation and they're transformed to become strong, toned and able to work effectively once again without any more embarrassing symptoms. Currently figures show that one in every two women aged 50 years of age will have some form of prolapse. We here at Kegel 8 think this is on the low side and I personally think that prolapse is at epidemic proportions. But because of the embarrassment, women do not always seek help and it just goes ignored and undiagnosed. So I urge women to strengthen up. Give it just 12 weeks with Kegel 8 to feel the difference. You'll be amazed. You can avoid prolapse if you don't have one. If you have one, you can learn to manage it and prevent further problems. We'll help you along the way, and I mean it when I say together we'll be stronger. We're here on the helpline if you need to find out how Kegel 8 can help you.